Hello everyone, welcome to the World Drone Market Channel. The main content of today's video is connecting the Skydraud H12 Pro Remote Controller to the Skydraud C10. The video will cover three main parts, introduction of materials, wiring process, and operating the remote controller. We'll start with the introduction of the materials. The materials used in this video are Tattoo 5300 mAh 3S LiPo Battery XT60 H12 Pro Receiver N7 Flight Controller Video Transmission Cable, Homemade SBUS Plus Telem 1 Cable, Homemade N7 Power Module and H12 Pro Once you have all the materials ready, you can proceed with the wiring. First, We'll use the SBUS Plus Telem 1 cable, homemade. It has three connectors, a DuPont 2.54mm 6 pin, a GH 1.25 pin, and a DuPont 2.54mm 4 pin. Connect the DuPont 2.54mm 6 pin to the H12 Pro receiver, Then connect the GH1.256 pin to the Telem 1 port on the N7. And finally, connect the DuPont 2.54mm 4 pin to the RC port on the N7. Next, take the video transmission cable, homemade. This cable has a DuPont 2.54mm 4-pin connector, a GH 1.257 pin connector, and a power cable. The power cable is displayed at the end of the connection. Now connect the GH 1.257 pin connector to the video transmission port on the C10, Then connect the DuPont 2.54mm 4-pin connector to either of the network ports on the H12 Pro, as it doesn't matter which one you use. Finally, connect the power module to the power source to supply power to the N7 flight controller. and connect the power cable to the C10. The wiring part is now complete, and next, we'll operate the remote controller. Open the Skydraud FPV software on the H12 Pro and check if you can control the rotation of the C10. The fourth icon at the bottom of the screen can flip the image, as shown in the video. Next, to display the camera feed on the remote controller, click the fifth icon at the bottom of the screen, then click video stream address and copy the address inside. This is the RTSP address for the C10, and the address is pasted in the video description. After copying the address, exit the FPV software, and open the QGC Click the top left corner of the screen, and in the new window, click Application Settings. In general, find Video Settings, and following the video instructions, select RTSP Video Stream, then paste the address into the RTSP URL box. This will allow QGC to display the C10's feed. Skydraud also has its own ground station software, which we'll demonstrate as well. Open the Skydraud ground station. Click the top left corner of the screen, then in the left sidebar, click General Settings. In the new window, select Other, then click User Interface. Following the video instructions, click Video Preference and select C10 in the left or right window to display the C10's feed on the ground station. That concludes today's video. Thank you for watching. To learn more about our products, please follow us.